happy. <laughs> no, I'm not bringing my whole cheer thing back like I used to do when I first started doing my YouTube videos, but I am bringing back my Valentine's Day sweater. <laughs> I will wear this every year for the rest of my life when I do my Essie Valentine's Day collection review. Sorry, <laughs> not sorry. A lot of you guys ask where I get this sweater from every year and I got this like five years, no, I got this like six or seven years ago now at a boutique in my hometown of Peoria, Illinois. If I ever see it online, I will make sure to link it for you guys so you can be matching with me. All right, you guys, so today we're here for the SE Valentine's Day 2023 collection review. If you guys haven't already figured it out by now, this collection is available at Ulta and at Target and I'm sure it's going to be available on Amazon soon. So I will leave all my links down below so you guys can purchase. You guys know I greatly, greatly appreciate you guys using my links. It helps me to keep doing what I'm doing and it gives me motivation to keep doing what I'm doing because I feel like I'm actually doing something and helping you guys out and helping you find colors to make your life better. Anyways, let's get to the swatches for these beauties. All right, you guys, let's get right into these beauties. You guys, most of you already know I do have an affiliate code with Beyond Polish. That code is BIV10. So any comparison polishes that are available at Beyond Polish will be marked with an asterisk. And then any of the polishes that are available at Amazon, I will mark those with an A. And I do put all of the links in my description. So if you guys are interested in any comparison polishes, thank you for using my links. All right, and first up, here we have Burning Love. So it's actually more muted than the live swatch is showing. So think like a corally color, but a little bit more muted. The swatch photo is a little bit even more muted than it actually is because it's outside in the shade. But just to give you guys a general idea of what this polish looks like, it's a muted coral polish with red undertones. It's a two-coater, it applies like butter, and it's amazing. And then here you can see what it looks like in different lighting. So this is why I like to show you guys different lighting because it looks completely different depending upon the lighting. And then getting right into comparisons. First off, here we have SESI Canyon, which was even more of a muted color than Burning Love. And then do you notice on my middle finger, I pulled on one of my little hangnails there. And so yeah, it looks gorgeous. Okay, and then next up we have Essie Gel Couture Change of Seam and Essie Cute as a Button, and you can see those are quite a bit different. And then here we have Essie Handmade with Love, Essie Gel Couture Woven at Heart, and I pulled that one out because it's from a recent collection. And then Essie Sunday Fun Day is a lot brighter. Next up we have Essie Gel Couture Overdress to Understudy, which is a gorgeous polish by the way. And then Orly Connect the Dots and Orly Can You Dig It? So you can see how those compare. And I would say this is probably my least fave from the collection. I just, it's just okay. <laughs> okay, next up we have a You Wish. You Wish is a mid-toned red with a shimmer finish. And this is a very pretty color. It's an easy two-coater. It also leans a little bit on the coral side, more so than red side. And <laughs> that's all I've got for this one. It's okay. I like it better than Burning Love, but I'm not the biggest fan of this one. Here you can see how it looks in different lighting. And then moving right along to comparisons. Here we have Essie Fun Ship. Was it Fun Ship or Fun Ships? I don't remember. And then Essie Make No Concessions and Essie Cupid's Bow. So I would say Fun Ship has a little bit more pink in it. Make No Concessions has a little bit more orange in it. Next up, we have Orly Dancing Embers. And then I compared You Wish and Burning Love so you can see how those compare to each other. Here it looks like Burning Love and You Wish are super similar, but You Wish has a shimmer finish. And they are pretty gosh darn close. I feel like they're too close to be in the same collection. You wish is just a little bit brighter. Okay, here is my absolute fave from this collection. This is Fuel De Your Desire, and it's a gorgeous iris purple with red undertones, and I love shades like this. It's so pretty. It's a two-coater. It's absolutely a freaking must-have. The formula is also fabulous. And then here you can see how this polish looks in a different lighting. And then moving right along to comparisons, I have no dupes. So here we have Essie Splash of Grenadine, 
Orly Scenic Route and Essie Suchi Swell. You can see no dupes there. And then here I pulled out Cirque Socialite and Orly Kaleidoscope Eyes. And once again, no dupes. Let me know if you guys have any thoughts on what might be a dupe to this polish. I was having troubles finding a polish that was purple with a little bit of pink or pink with a little bit of purple. So I would be curious to hear your thoughts. Okay, next up is Flirt with Freedom. This is a black and purple with shimmer finish. And this has the same finish as You Wish does. I think the formula is a little bit thin. I actually had to apply this a couple of times. The polish was literally running down the brush so fast. But I do apply thick coats, so you might just need to apply three thin coats for this one. This is two thickish coats. And it's an absolutely gorgeous color. I would say, even though it's a thin formula, that this is my second fave from the collection. It's super pretty and it's easy to apply once you know what you're working with. And then here you can see what it looks like in different lighting. And on to comparisons, I didn't did not have a ton to compare this to. So here we have OPI Nature Strong Achieve Greatness, Orly I'll Misty You, and SE Sexy Divide. And Sexy Divide is a lot darker than Flirt with Freedom. Let me know if you guys have any other thoughts on polishes that may compare to this one. Okay, next up is No Expectations. What a cute name. This is described as a cool deep gray with purple undertones. This one applies like glass. This has the most perfect formula. It couldn't be better. <laughs> it's another must have if you like these shades. I also had trouble finding a shade that compared to this one. It's one of those chameleon shades that looks blue in some lighting, it looks gray in some lighting, and it looks purple in some lighting. So I pulled out OPI Heart DTLA, which is more gray, SC Wink of Sleep was more purple, and then OPI Less is Norse is more navy. Next up we have SE Study Tips was more blue, SE Urine Natural was lighter, and then SE Expressy Left on Shred was more blue. So let me know if you guys have any thoughts on polishes that might compare to this one. And then last but not least, this is another one of my faves from this collection. The formula is so, so good, and I love this blue. This is Licensed to Thrill. This is described as a cobalt blue with red undertones, and you'll see here in a second. This one's super close to an older polish that I own that is one of my faves, but I'm ready for a new bottle, so I'm loving this one. And then here you can see how this polish looks in different lighting. And comparisons. Here we have Essie Infinity Cool, Essie Waterfall in Love, and Essie Gel Couture Caviar Bar. And then here you can see that polish, Essie Style Cartel on my ring finger. That polish is so pretty. And this is probably the closest dupe that I found to that polish. You can purchase Style Cartel on Amazon currently. It does not have as good of a formula as License to Thrill, but it's still gorgeous. It will have a thin brush most likely. So yeah, I'm gonna stop blabbing on that polish and get back to Essie Mesmerize, which is more of a royal blue. And then Essie Curls and Caviar is more gray. Then here we have Essie Study Tips. Essie Study Tips, which is a little bit more muted. Essie Expressy Left on Shred. And then Essie Expressy Lose the Snooze. And last but not least here, we have OPI Midnight Mantra. OPI Isn't It Grand Ab. And then OPI Duomo Days Isola Night. So you can see how all of those compare. All right guys, so let me know, what do you think of this collection? Do you think it's a must-have collection? Are you more excited about this collection than you have been for previous SE collections? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> and then stay tuned, I have more polishes that I will be showing you guys and per all of your requests on Instagram, I will be doing a lot more Seattle content this year. So stay tuned for that. Lots of coffee, lots of hiking, lots of paddle boarding, lots of going to Pike Place and doing all the things. All right guys, hope you have a fab day. Love you all. Bye. Oh, and happy new year.